Okay, this video is why I don't eat bread anymore. And you know, some of it's kind of obvious. The stuff that you see, you know, processed bread that's not in the refrigerator, it sits on those shelves for months. Um, so it's gonna be full of preservatives and mold inhibitors and you know, things that are toxic to microorganisms are often toxic to us. So I try to avoid that sort of thing. And all those really processed bread, those are obviously bad. The fiber's all removed, it's bleached, it's got softening chemicals. There's some potential issues with gluten, which I never actually think about, but for some people that could be relevant. Some of the modern versions, you wonder if they're GMO. I would only eat organic. Uh, what else? A lot of the processed breads got lots of added fat and sugar. Um, but what I really want to talk about is why do I not eat even the breads that are the best ones? When I say the best breads, that'd be things like the Ezekiel bread that you can only get out of the freezer at Whole Foods, for example, something like that. Um, and the reason was when I looked at them closely, it was very difficult to find any of them that didn't have um, MSG in them or didn't have oil or, or soy in them. Um, so I couldn't find anything that was good and anything that's processed. Like I, I, when I was, you know, many, many years ago, I would get a, I would get a sub from, you know, a deli or something, but I saw all kinds of things. I started reading about the chemicals in them. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I used to eat that stuff. Uh, but anyways... So the main reason is because they almost always have oil or soy or um, MSG in them. And so that's why I won't ever eat a bread again. But the processed ones are far worse, the ones that, that aren't even refrigerated in the store. So I, f I feel like you can't win with them. Uh, some are high in sodium too. And it's also, you know, for similar reasons why I stopped eating all cereals. Because almost all the cereals I could find were high in sodium and almost all of them had MSG. The only you know way you can avoid MSG if there's a single ingredient... They have to tell you if there's MSG in it or not, but they just weren't worth the trouble. And then, then that enabled me to avoid not only milk, but to avoid all the uh, the milk substitutes. But so anyways, that's why I don't ever eat bread or cereal anymore.